<laughs> what up guys and welcome back to another one a lot of you are going snow goose hunting for the first time and you all are asking for my tips and for my how to's and you guys are missing the how to videos I know I've been doing a lot of hunting but it is windy out let me tell you what right now it's sitting at 54 degrees at 11 o'clock in the morning and we have a very 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 stiff south wind holding at 25 to 30 mile an hour so I've been uh, driving around a little bit just got back from Colorado those videos will be coming I think we'll have one video for sure so be expecting uh, the Colorado vlog coming your way but we just got back in town yesterday and this is the first morning back and it's been warm it's been rainy and very warm and I wanted to get out driving and look at some roofs and just keep my eyes to the sky and what I'm seeing is a lot of high 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 small groups migrating and I mean migrating fast they are gone people I mean gone <clears throat> whatever birds are left south of Kansas or in the southeast part of Kansas then bad boys are gonna be gone because our main body of birds uh, the first big push I, I like to call it the first big push but in all reality what it was was we had the snow line for a long time and Kansas was that state to where everything bound up in just like kind of like Arkansas you know with the snow geese a lot of stuff bound, binds up in there and can't break north because Missouri is probably cold same thing here Nebraska stays extremely cold all winter long with a bunch of ice like a, a lot of you know and so it binds those birds up down in uh, Kansas and they all just stall up in Kansas when they're wanting to uh, start the reverse migration so long story short they bound up and now they are just blowing north they're they're into Nebraska now they're starting to uh, get into Squaw Creek heavy over east of me so if you all are wondering where the birds are um, right now the main push is uh, just spilling into Nebraska but Squaw Creek is absolutely loaded it's, I think yesterday it was at like 1.3 million so I'm debating going to Squaw Creek again this year I don't know I, I can't decide so it's really muddy it's been raining non-stop everywhere and I just don't know I don't know if I want to give it one more five hour drive five and a half hour drive and then sitting in the mud you know done it a lot this year as a lot of you know oh man it is just crazy windy sorry if uh, you hear a bunch of wind look at these ducks so we've like I said we we're getting a ton of rain we've been getting a lot of rain and as I drove by that little sheet water puddle right there yeah they're still getting off of it see them that is a beautiful sight we have a ton of ducks I mean we have an absolute ton of ducks it's this warm weather and this much rain it almost it reminds me kind of September but it's obviously a lot wetter a um, lot a lot more water I mean we have so much water it is insane actually what we'll probably do is go look at the uh, river here and see how high it is because I think we're in a flood warning well check it out I remember this exact time last year on the reverse migration you start seeing little feeds of seagulls everything's migrating so it's it's migrating back north um, start seeing seagulls start seeing cormorants you start seeing a lot of cormorants like right now I can guarantee you for the next month of my life I'm gonna I'm gonna be tricked into thinking that a group of flying cormorants are geese or, or snows and I'm gonna follow them and yeah they're gonna end up being big old long-legged and big-footed cormorants but the sheet water situation with these ducks is pretty cool um so back to the snow goose thing uh, if you guys are going snow goose hunting let's say you're gonna go snow goose hunting in Missouri like Mound City because it's absolutely stacked um, or you're gonna hit them hard up in Iowa Iowa uh, is gonna be a good option next week for the next two weeks I would say um, they're really bound up in northern Missouri Squaw Creek Mound City area that's that's a huge area for them right now um, here in Kansas to chase them man you better be up on the Kansas Nebraska border and all the all the Nebraskans up there all you Nebraskans all you corn huskers up there better get ready 
batten down the hatches, you better get your tubes on because these snows, you better be ready to hunt them, that's what I'm telling you, because they're going to roll over Nebraska. If it stays warm, and it should, we should be into warm weather now, uh, they stay right on that ice slash snow line. Wherever it's melting, that's how hard they're pushing. So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying right where that line is with the ice and the snow is melting as this warm weather pushes north and, and as this warm weather thaws everything north they are staying right on that line so on my northern states you guys better be ready to smack these little white devils I'm telling you because they are rolling fast and hard they've been bound up very 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 tight they've been bound south way too long so they got shoved down here all the waterfowl in general got shoved down here very 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 early we had our largest numbers of lessers almost three weeks probably three to four weeks earlier than usual this year so if that tells you anything then with the winter weather sticking around and keeping everything iced over longer they were held down longer so man they're just wanting to break north and bust north extremely fast so I know that was a long rant and I know this video isn't the most exciting video because we are driving around but a lot of you know that's what you got to do as a waterfowl you got to drive around and look and I love driving around I love scouting not so much now though because it's the end of the season and the only thing I can shoot is snows and they gone so if you're planning on hunting them hit them hard boys and you got to be ready be on your toes be on your toes because these birds are going to roll over the states so fast getting north it's going to be crazy. <sighs> so all in all, I mean honestly guys, I have one more video to post that I haven't posted yet. Uh, it's a little snow goose hunt. I think we killed maybe five or seven. Um, it was last week and that's probably going to be my last video. It's not even a full video. Um, it's just a very short hunt because it, that's what it was. It was a very, very, very short hunt. So, this is the end. I, I don't think, I know a lot of you have been DMing me, and I've been contemplating it a lot. I've been going, man, do I head, uh, do I head northeast? Do I head north, you know? Do I go chase these snows up by Squall Creek? It's loaded. I did last year, and I learned a lot. Is, is where I'm located, I'm located just far enough to where when I have to chase them north, that's what, you, you're, that's what you're doing essentially, is chasing them north. And with the, with the family and the kids now, just like this Colorado vacation we just had, and which should be expecting the video, yet again, there'll be a video coming from it. I just, the amount of mud, the amount of rain and weather going on right now, and, and how hard these birds are pushing north, I don't think my family has the time for me to be gone again. So, I've been gone enough this year. I've been gone enough even when I am home. Even when I am home, I'm chasing, and I'm gone from home, I'm chasing, I'm driving, I'm hunting, I'm scouting, which is my passion and my love, and I'm not saying anything bad about it. I'm, I am not complaining about what I do uh, here for the channel and for a living. Whoa! Believe me, I love what I do. You guys know that. But what I'm saying is, <clears throat> the circumstances are just so tough now the weather it's nothing but mud everywhere I mean you got six inches of mud right when you step in a field whether you're here in Kansas whether you're in Missouri it's just gonna be that way Iowa is gonna be the same thing so like I said as pro I'm gonna probably end up wrapping it up this is gonna be the end of waterfowl hunting for uh, this season but but don't don't get too down in the dumps y'all because I'm not we got a lot of pigeon hunting this summer when then doves gonna be coming we're gonna have some magnet fishing coming I hope you guys I hope you guys are ready for the magnet fishing videos a lot of you miss them I do too um, hopefully we can find some epic stuff this year um, but as far as waterfowl hunting guys we're gonna hang it up until till season and um, it's very it, it, it saddens me to say that I mean to say the least it hurts Bobby's heart very badly to say that so gotta do it um, last year I chased too hard and, and I learned you know I got burned a lot last year there's a lot of videos that didn't even make a video because they were just they're trash and a lot of money spent a lot of tires pounding the old pavement if you know what I mean so the family needs me home uh, I want to be home with my family y'all and uh, 
till season will come around, we'll be going to Nebraska. I have a very, very, very special trip already booked and planned with my best friend Wade. Y'all know who Wade is? Me and him, uh, on my birthday, will be flying out of here and going to Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. That will be September 20th, so I'll be hunting on my birthday of the 21st, so it's going to be really neat. Um, so I am looking forward to that trip. I mean, I'm, I'm so looking forward to that. That area is, is prime, prime area. These boys that we're going with, uh, they know what they're doing. Jeremy at 780 Outdoors, um, I'm telling you, he knows what he is doing up there. But honestly, can't wait for that trip. Uh, so, so be expecting some early season epic trips next year and uh, check out this photo. This photo right here was the first till that I downed uh, this past season and I believe that was in Nebraska. So yeah, it was in Nebraska with flair. So um, I can't wait to get back uh, to the till hunting and duck hunting. Duck hunting, I'm telling you. After this year, you know me, I've always said, oh, I'm a big goose hunter and I am. I, I love my goose hunting. But man, do I love my duck hunting. Uh, and the reason why is it's a lot easier. And I love watching ducks work. They're pretty. They're, they're a lot easier to break down. A um, lot easier to trick. So, that being said, uh, I, I, I really want to get on some more river duck hunts. We're only able to do one of those this year. So, I know this video is everywhere and I'm babbling. But I feel like we haven't had a sit down like this. A drive around sit down chat. And uh, I need to tell you guys and inform you guys the plan of the channel and where we're at and what we're doing right now. Um, because a lot of you have been asking, like, Bobby, what are you going to do next? You're going to be turkey hunting. Of course I'm going to be turkey hunting. Last year I turkey hunted my butt off. So we're going to get ready for a bunch of new stuff. I hope you guys are ready. And I hope you guys are on board to have a bunch of fun here. Thank you guys for being around. I love doing this. I really do. It's, uh, it means everything to me. You guys, you guys mean everything to me. Thank you. Yep, our river is way up. This is way, way, way up. I'm sure you can hear the wind just freaking howling. But uh, yeah, we've got a ton of rain, a ton. I don't even know how many inches we've got because I've been out of town in Colorado, like I said. So, man, the river is ripping and a roaring. It's spring, it's crazy. It went from winter to spring like that here in Kansas insane we went from ice heck we were driving in yesterday and right now it's like 65 degrees if not warmer and yesterday there's still ice on some ponds and now we're getting spring rains that are filling up the river it's crazy the weather can just switch like that it's nuts oh but the weather it's crazy to think the weather is what controls waterfowl all in all the weather controls waterfowl period um a lot of you know they have to, they do two flights a year. They come south and then they go north. So um, weather in particular controls their flight and, and when they travel, when they fly, when they eat, when they stay on a big roost, when they spread out to smaller bodies of water due to ice. It's crazy. A lot to learn in the waterfowl world. I'm telling you, a lot to learn. I love this so much. I hope a lot of you are learning something from the channel. I get a lot of great comments from you guys saying, hey Bobby, thank you so much for, for teaching me this. You've taught me that. Uh, it's been my first year of duck hunting. A lot of you guys, thank you so much for telling me those things. This year has been a blessing with you guys just <clears throat> pouring your hearts out to me saying, hey, thank you uh, for teaching me how to blow a duck call, how to set up my duck spread because I never knew how. And, and it's the same thing with me. I never knew how to duck hunt until I found YouTube. I, uh, me and Wade used to try and, and, and we used to blow our calls and, and everything else, but I learned how to do a feeder chuckle via YouTube. A lot of you know that. I've said it before. Feeder chuckles, duck calling, goose calling, I learned uh, most of it. I mean a lot of it, but most of it on YouTube. And that's why I started the channel is uh, for people like you and for people like me to help each other out. and. Um, like I said though, there's just so much to learn from waterfowl. It's insane. It's a never ending, never ending book. So check this out. There should be some ducks in this little water hole here. Let's see if we can see them. Probably not. They might have left. They were just here earlier. Oh, there they are. There they are. Put all we got in there. That's some mallards. Ooh. 
Got some red heads. Wow. Like I said, we have ducks everywhere, man. Look at that. There's some widgeons. There's a little bit of everything in there. That's cool. There they go. Beautiful. Woo, they fast. Catch that wind and them ducks are gone. Boy, howdy do I miss that. Those public duck hunts where uh, the wind is just whipping and you're doing everything in your power to shoot them because they're freaking flying with the wind so fast. Oh, I already missed duck hunting. So I want to tell some of my long-term subscribers and viewers something special. We're probably like 10 minutes into the video or something, so I wanted to wait around and uh, tell all you guys that stick around, that stick through the entire video. I wanted to let you guys know that next week I have an awesome trip planned. And uh, it's something that I've never filmed. And what it is, in a nutshell, it is the main front, the main the, I mean, the main body of the migration, the main push. And so it's not just going to be ducks and geese that I'm going to be filming. I'm going to be filming a ton. And I mean a ton of cranes. A ton of cranes. There's supposed to be like 400,000 cranes right around the blind that I'm going to be in. So I'm actually going on a trip with Ducks Unlimited. So it's going to be extremely neat. I cannot wait for next week. Uh, that's probably why I'm not going to go snow goose hunting because I'm already leaving next week. So that trip should be epic. Not Probably not even going to squeeze a trigger. But for all of my waterfowl hunters out there, you guys are going to understand the appreciation of this trip when I go because the film is going to be insane. There's going to be so much, so, so many birds. And I've never got to film cranes and especially 400,000 cranes. So it's going to be very special. Cannot wait to sh I can't wait to share it with you guys. Oh, yeah. Still sipping the white monsters like usual. It is windy back here. Holy smokes. The wind is not going to let up today. T tomorrow it's supposed to be a uh, steady wind. Steady. Steady at 45 mile an hour. So, we're supposed to get some thunderstorms tonight. Oh, but yeah, right now the wind is, uh, what's it, south at 33 mile per hour, so, and it's at 60 degrees right now, it's supposed to get up to 64. These birds, whatever's left, like I said, are going to be gone. They're going to be in Nebraska, like I said, these birds are bound up on the Nebraska-Kansas line, and Squaw Creek, Mound City, that area is absolutely stacked up. So, Iowa, uh, the eastern part of Nebraska... All of you guys right there are all going to start seeing a ton of snow geese, if not already. So, I know this video wasn't action-packed and just crazy and fun and, and just unbelievable. But a lot of you have been asking, Bobby, what do I need to know uh, going into this spring snow goose hunt? It's my first one, you know, yada, yada, yada. And my two cents is these birds are rolling fast. I go into these snow goose hunts just enjoying the hunt. Like usual, uh, enjoy the hunt. Don't go in expecting to absolutely kill a ton of them because I, I don't believe that's going to happen. What do you want, Tom? Why are you meowing everywhere? You hungry, man? Yeah, I think that's a yes. But I'm going to get to feeding Tom here. I'm glad you guys are here. But like I said, probably not going to go snow goose hunting. Probably This is probably the end uh, of the waterfowl hunting for, for old Bob. But be expecting uh, next week, next week, we're going on a huge trip with Ducks Unlimited. Like I said, going to see a hundreds, a hundred, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of birds and hundreds of thousands of cranes. So it's going to be very, very, very neat to uh, witness this. But like always, thank you all for being here. Without you guys, I couldn't be doing this. But if you haven't checked out DucksWaterfowl.com, that's where you can pick up this hat and hoodie combo. I will link it down in the description below. But guys, subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one. And if you like this video, give your boy a big old thumbs up. Peace.